Hi there, this is Scott Duffy, and it's the end of December 2017. Happy New Year to everybody. I wanted to create this video to give you some heads up about the latest information that I'm hearing about the Microsoft Exam 70-532 Developing Microsoft Azure Solutions. In the Azure user group that I help run and maintain, students are reporting some difficulties with the exam. These are three comments from three different people who took this exam in the past couple of weeks. The code snippets questions too are particularly challenging, especially if you do not come from a development background. I'd say 50% of the exam was coding across different languages. Lots of code questions, lots of code in case studies, lots of service fabric questions. Those are just a snippet of what people are reporting. And so I feel obligated to create this video to let everybody know that something's changed recently with this exam. Perhaps it's the changes that came with the October release of the, of the exam requirements. So first let's talk about the NDA. I want to adhere to this NDA strictly. And so I just, I just read over it just to familiarize myself with it again. And the NDA states that we as uh, exam attendees are prohibited from it disseminating actual exam content or answers. Now I am 100% against brain dumps. I've always been against brain dumps. And I don't really want to get in a situation where we're sharing actual questions and actual topics and actual uh, tips with each other because that goes against the spirit of testing this knowledge. But that said, I think it's very important that we know that there are lots of coding questions on the most recent iteration of this exam. People are saying that 50% of the exam is coding questions and so uh, I don't think that violates the NDA to, to say that you're going to need to be uh, stronger on your coding skills than maybe we thought. My mother used to say that forewarned is forearmed. So before attempting this exam, the 70-532 specifically, be sure to spend way more time practicing coding against Microsoft Azure. Get Visual Studio Community Edition if you need to or Professional Edition if you have access to that. Get PowerShell, download the SDKs for those environments and go through some projects, practice, interacting with all of the relevant resources within Azure, just like a developer would do if you're working with Azure day to day as, as part of your job. So create projects for yourself, challenge yourself to write web apps that perform various functions, use as many Azure services as you can, create functions and logic apps, use databases, Cosmos DB, you know, blobs and other types of storage, scale these apps, back them up, right? Practice increasing and decreasing scale, practice alerts, etc. Okay. So basically, and I'm, I, I have to apologize because when this course was created at the end of 2016 into 2017, the exam was quite different for me. There, I, there was maybe four questions. I think there was about two questions that were coding related and two of them that you could sort of say were highly technical, but not necessarily coding. So reg regrettably, um, Microsoft has changed this exam uh, to the point where it's really a lot more about developing. And, and of course, it's a development exam and that makes sense, but it wasn't like that even a few months ago. So my tip for you is to um, focus more on the code, like I said, and, and not just C sharp, but get into some Node.js, get some PHP, like uh, make sure you're at least aware of how some of these things are done in various languages and if you don't come from a development background let's say you're coming at this completely not from a development background this might not be the exam for you uh, i do recommend that you join this group though so those quotes at the beginning came from my students that were in the azure user group and so join the azure user group i've put a link shortener on screen take you to a facebook group you do need a facebook account not everybody wants one or needs one but if you do have one Come over here, join the group, and you can at least stay up to date on what people are saying. Again, no brain dumps, no sharing of exam information, but we do talk about people's latest experiences, and that's kind of valuable. So come on over and check that out. And again, go back up to here. Um, get into coding if you're going to take this exam fairly soon.